In Paris, France, Alexander has been living with his fiancée Laure for five years. When Laure gifts him a pair of slippers for Valentine's Day and their intimate time together is not as exciting as it used to be, Alexander finally comes to terms with the fact their passionate relationship has become nothing but a boring routine. Needing a break from Laure, Alexander decides to stay a few days in the beachfront cottage that belongs to his friends T and Maud. He arrives during a stormy night and is shocked to see a woman getting inside through the window and walking on her hands, this turns out to be Fan Fan, Alexander's friend's granddaughter. Alexander heard about her in the past and finds it curious they were never introduced to each other, so Fan Fan points out Maud has warned her that Alexander is not exactly God's gift to women. Fan Fan also explains she is studying to be a perfumer like Maud, and she does not mind the way Alexander smells. Since there is only one guest room, Fan Fan insists they should share the bed because they are not animals to sleep on the floor, and while Alexander at first is uncomfortable with the idea, Fan Fan changes his mind by accusing him of being scared of her. In the end, accepting to share the bed turns out to be a bad idea because Fan Fan keeps bothering Alexander instead of letting him sleep. Despite these annoyances, the next morning Alexander cannot stop watching Fan Fan from afar. Fan Fan is aware their little plan last night did not exactly work out, so she offers a simple solution to avoid repeating that mistake, she takes Alexander to an abandoned house that she calls her secret hideout, where they hang out together and enjoy each other's company. A few days pass and Alexander remembers he is supposed to meet with Laura and her parents, so he rushes back to Paris. When he enters his apartment, he is surprised to find a call girl waiting for him. It turns out to be Laura in a costume, and Alexander believes it to be a chance to reignite their relationship, but Laura got tired of waiting and wants to leave for dinner as soon as possible. When they make it to her parents' house, Alexander gets in a blue mood when he sees his in-laws stuck in a boring marriage and worries about this being his future too when Laura's father insists he should take over the family's business, which happens to be a funeral home. Meanwhile, Laura confesses to a friend that she likes Alexander and wants to get together with him. Sometime later, when Alexander returns to his friend's house, he admits to T that he likes Fan Fan, but he is not sure he should go after her because he is tired of always falling into the same pattern. All his relationships were fun at first, but eventually the passion died out and they became a boring couple stuck in a routine. T points out that a one-night-only date would not be satisfying either, and Alexander finally comes up with an idea, platonic love. He will court Fan Fan and take her out on fancy dates, but he will never even kiss her or confess his love to her, that way he will enjoy the excitement found in unfulfilled desire and avoid the banal aspects of relationships, like dumb arguments over small things. By keeping it platonic he is also technically not cheating on Laura. For their first date, Alexander buys Fan Fan flowers and takes her to a fancy apartment to have dinner. They have a great time together and get to learn each other better, including little details like the fact Fan Fan cannot pay rent. Later in the evening, Fan Fan realizes Alexander lied and this is not his family's apartment, so he confesses he wanted to give her the luxury she deserves. At that moment, the real owners arrive, and Fan Fan is so touched by Alexander's gesture that she helps him lied about having been a misunderstanding in rent before they run away. Afterward, Alexander gets Fan Fan in his car and blindfolds her, claiming he is taking her all the way to Vienna. In truth, he takes her to a television studio, where a special stage has been put up to make it look like Vienna in 1813. While wearing period costumes, Alexander and Fan Fan dance a waltz and play pretend they are under attack like in the most dramatic of soap operas. It is all fun and delightful until Alexander proposes a toast to their friendship, disappointing and hurting Fan Fan greatly. When the night is over, Alexander offers to take Fan Fan home, but she retaliates by asking him to drop her at Paul's, a sculptor friend of hers that is doing a clothless study of Fan Fan. Later when Alexander returns to his apartment, he finds Laura awake and waiting for him, already suspecting he is cheating on her. Alexander is honest and admits he had been out with another woman but swears it is all strictly platonic. Their talk somehow becomes an argument about who they are inviting to their wedding, prompting Laura to wonder what happened to them. Alexander promises they are fine and it is just the age, then tries to distract her by getting frisky with her. The next day, a frustrated Fan Fan tells Maud about what happened, making Maud realize she does not know about Laura. When Maud explains Alexander is engaged, Fan Fan gets even angrier and promises to concentrate on her incoming exams in order to forget about him. However Fan Fan is weak to Alexander's charms and continues to hang out with him, even if it frustrates her not to be able to convince him to come into her apartment at the end of every date. Meanwhile Alexander visits Fan Fan's landlord to secretly help her with her rent and learns the apartment next to hers is empty. Eventually Fan Fan gets tired of this game and invites Alexander to have a drink at a bar, where she admits she knows about Lore and gives Alexander an ultimatum, he must choose between Lore or Fan Fan. Alexander insists he just wants to be friends, but Fan Fan explains she can smell his hormones and they prove he is very attracted to her. Panicking at finding himself in a corner, Alexander pretends he needs to go to the bathroom, but actually goes to the nearest pharmacy and purchases a sleeping powder that he pours into Fan Fan's drink. Once Fan Fan begins feeling drowsy, Alexander takes her away in his car. The next morning, Fan Fan wakes up at the beach and takes the chance to go for a swim in just her underwear. 
Thinking this is a sign Alexander will not play any more games, she also asks him to rub sunscreen on her back, raising the tension between them. When Alexander is about to give in and finally kiss Fan Fan, they are suddenly interrupted by Lore, who is trying to be more spontaneous like Alexander likes it. She brings big news, preparations for their wedding are finished and most importantly, she is pregnant. Fan Fan is obviously upset and slaps Alexander while she congratulates the happy couple at the same time, before leaving. This upsets Alexander in return and Lore notices this, causing her to make a scene and wish Alexander would actually cheat on her so things were clearer between them, because she cannot understand what he really wants. A few days later, Fan Fan continues to be upset and this awful mood causes her to fail her exams. Meanwhile Lore accidentally asks Alexander to pick up something for her monthlies at the store and has no choice but to confess she is not really pregnant, it had been a lie she blurted at the beach because she had panicked. Lore insists this marriage will not work if Alexander cannot make up his mind, so Alexander officially cancels the wedding by throwing the invitations in the drain. Afterward, he goes looking for Fan Fan and finds her boarding a bus to Italy, thus he chases after it with the intention of talking to her. However at the next bus stop, he gets afraid and does not board. Sometime later, Alexander shares his frustrations with T, explaining he wants to live with Fan Fan but does not want the routine that comes with it. When T points out Fan Fan will not wait forever and she will be back from her vacation in 10 days, Alexander gets an idea, he will use those 10 days to buy the apartment next to Fan Fan's, decorate it to look like hers, and install a one-way mirror. This way he can look at her and pretend they are living together without actually doing it. The plan works and when Fan Fan returns to Paris, Alexander gets to enjoy her company daily without her knowing. One day, Fan Fan calls him to apologize for the slap and asks him to go out for lunch with her grandparents, accepting to be just friends. When they meet though, Alexander is shocked to find Paul is coming with them too because he is now dating Fan Fan. Alexander pretends to be happy for them but he is clearly jealous, feeling like an awkward third wheel. When Paul goes to the toilet, Alexander immediately tells Fan Fan he has broken up with Lore, but Fan Fan responds it is too late for them. During the lunch with T and Maud, Paul announces he and Fan Fan are getting married, souring Alexander's mood more. Later in the evening when Alexander returns to the apartment, he begins packing his things, thinking he has lost his chance with Fan Fan, only to stop himself when he sees her argue with Paul on the other side of the mirror. It turns out they are not truly dating, it had all been a plan of Fan Fan's to make Alexander jealous and even Maude was playing along. Paul does want to get together with Fan Fan, but she turns him down, making him wonder why she keeps thinking about Alexander when he has behaved like a twat. Fan Fan confesses she used to think badly of Alexander too until she learned he has been helping her with her rent, proving he has a good heart underneath. Meanwhile T tells Maude about Alexander's one-way mirror, making her promise she will not tell Fan Fan about it. Maude does not keep her word though and the next day, Fan Fan returns to her apartment knowing who is on the other side of the mirror and demanding an explanation. Talking loud enough to be heard through the mirror, Alexander tells Fan Fan about him chasing the bus and some bad childhood memories regarding his own mother, who would have a different man in her room every night. He grew up thinking love would always turn sour, prompting Fan Fan to explain that will never be the case with her. She kisses the mirror and even puts her body against it, telling Alexander how much she needs him, but when Alexander only responds by touching the mirror too, Fan Fan reminds him it is not enough. She is tired of games, so Alexander has until 10pm to come to her apartment or he will never see her again. Now knowing what to do, Alexander goes to a bar to gather his thoughts and misses the deadline. When he returns to the apartment, he finds Fan Fan is gone and only left a letter behind, saying she will reunite with her sister. Desperate to make things right, Alexander calls Maude to ask about this sister and learns she has been dead for years after she ended things at the river. Assuming Fan Fan's going to do the same, Alexander breaks down in tears as he remembers their time together and realizes he would actually not mind being married to Fan Fan after all. His grieving is suddenly interrupted by a weird noise coming from his apartment, it is Fan Fan breaking the mirror and the metaphorical wall between them. The pair finally embrace and kiss as Fan Fan explains she will add a new deadline, and now Alexander has until 10am to win her back, which Alexander proceeds to do with great fervor. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. So feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one, bye.